Hey everybody, it's Chris. Um, this is the first video in a new series I'm doing uh, covering how to use Unity 3D, the game engine, to create uh, broadcast quality animation that would be at home on TV screens or film screens quickly and easily. There's a lot to get through, so let's roll the intro and get into it. Okay, before we go any further, uh, I just wanted to let you know that every episode of the series, except for this one, will have associated files to go with it. There will be links in the description to where you can download um, those files. I'll have a GitHub repo set up for all of them. So you can download the files and follow along, uh, as well as create them yourself from scratch. So in today's video, we're gonna kind of set the stage for what's coming. We're gonna talk about Unity, why you would want to use Unity for this, as well as the other applications and tools that you're gonna need along the way, uh, as well as some of my my thoughts and uh, behind why this is a good idea. So I'm sure some of you right now are wondering why I would choose something like Unity as the software of choice for creating these uh, animations that we're gonna stitch together into a movie or TV show? And it's a good question, and for me, it uh, boils down to just a, a few things. The first key reason is ease of use. It is a wonderfully designed application with a pretty low learning curve. There's a lot of documentation that's really well written, and a lot of videos online you can you can watch to get up to speed on how things work and, and all of that. So. Um, ease of use and getting into the application is a key component of why you should use it. Uh, number two is power. It is amazing what you can do, uh, the quality of what you can get out of this application, even on just a laptop, uh, as opposed to some of the other more traditional 3D rendering and uh, animation suites uh, out there. Uh, it also helps that it's real time. Uh, instead of creating all of this work and then having to render it for hours and then find out it's wrong. Everything is in real time. So you hit the space bar or whatever it is on your system and you see exactly what you've done immediately and you can stop, reset and go again. It just makes the workflow so quick when you are making minute changes to your animation or your models to get the exact look you're looking for. And lastly is ecosystem. Uh, it, it really can't be overstated how important it is uh, to find an application that has a rich ecosystem around it. Uh, Unity has an amazing asset store that has models and effects and weapons and uh, presets for your color grading. Just amazing wealth of things, either free or extremely affordable. And that is incredibly important when you're like me, a one-man show, to be able to uh, work off of these things, to kind of stand on the shoulders of giants, if you will. So I'm not having to do everything myself. If you're not a modeler, there are amazing models available uh, from characters to monsters to vehicles that could easily be acquired and then imported into Unity and you can just get going on telling your story as opposed to being bogged down in stuff that you don't want to do or you're not good at uh, in the first place. So it's also important to know that what we're going to be talking about in the uh, in the process of this series are are hopefully more uh, ways to think and break things down in techniques than it is teaching you software because that's not a good idea. That's a dead end. Uh, so you could take the things that you learn and apply it to a project that's an Unreal Engine, for instance, or Maya. And it doesn't have to be Unity. It's just what I like to use. And so I'm using it as the application of choice. Okay, so now let's talk about my process. To go from idea to fully produced film is going to take a number of applications, skills, and processes. Um, yes, we're going to start in Unity. But once we have all of that produced, all of those assets produced in Unity, we need to bring them into a and a film editor to be able to assemble them into a compelling visual narrative, a story. And for that, in this series of uh, videos, I will be using Final Cut Pro 10. 
you can use whatever you want. All of this stuff is, is portable from Avid to Windows Movie Maker to help hit Film Express, which is what I would re recommend if you don't have anything, or to something like Premiere Pro. It's all the same. They're all editors. What matters is how you think and um, interact with them, and that's what we'll be covering in this series. I won't be going into depth on how to use a nonlinear editor, uh, a film editor, uh, in these videos. That's something that is outside the scope of these and you'll have to do on your own. I will be talking about what role they play in this process and how to use them effectively to get the most out of your uh, film. But if you want to know, like you're starting from zero on how to use one of these things, uh, I would hit YouTube and find videos on the editor that you've chosen and get up to speed on that before you do this so that when we hit the portions of the series where we're talking about taking that animation and cutting it together into a film, you'll be ready to go and won't have to stop then and uh, you know halt progress and all of that stuff. Uh, well, that's it for now. Like I said, this is just an introductory video. I have added links uh, to where to download Unity in the uh, notes in the description, and I've also added the, the version of Unity this will all be based on because we'll want to standardize on that and just stick with that version all the way through because every version of Unity introduces new bugs or new features and we want to have a standard palette. So uh, I also have uh, added a list of the um, standard assets that you're going to need. They're free from Unity that you can just go ahead and download uh, and add to your project so that when you start the next video, you'll be ready to go and won't have to worry about uh, getting your environment set up or any of that stuff. You should have all of that done with the information I added in the notes. Okay, that's it. Uh, go ahead and download Unity. I, I would poke around in there, load the default uh, project for 3D with extras probably is the one I would uh, suggest. Play around with it, see how it works, what it does, all of that stuff and uh, have fun. Uh, Unity is incredibly fun to use and uh, almost addictive when you get in there and really understand how it works. So, so I will see you guys in the next video when we actually get our hands dirty a little bit uh, with this whole process. So until then, take it easy.